In this video, we want to go over prefixes. Prefixes are short little sections of words that come before the root of a word and help you understand what the word means. They add uh, an extra nuance to the word and why prefixes and suffixes for that matter are important. Prefixes coming before the root of the word, suffixes, short little endings after the word, is that if you know your basic prefixes and suffixes, they help you determine the meaning of a word. And they're important clues, especially if you're taking a standardized test where they say we want you to find the word with the opposite meaning. Sometimes just knowing the prefix can give you enough of a clue, even if you don't know what the root means, to find the opposite. Um, we've got a few examples on the board and we want to go through those briefly just to show you the importance of prefixes, how they can help you in your test taking strategies, and how they can help you understand the meanings of words. So prefixes give clues as to a word's meaning. Knowing them can help you find the word with the opposite meaning on a test. So words like uh, prefixes like pre, um, here we think pre-operative, pre-op, that means before the operation, or prescient, uh, pre meaning before, and scient from the word science, which means knowledge, so to know ahead of time. So prescient is to know ahead of time. Uh, pre-game show, the, the part that comes before the game. So pre means before, the opposite of pre is post. Post-operative care, the care that happens after the operation. Post-game show, the show that happens after the game. So pre is before, post is after. If you realize this um, opposites, then if you see a word that's got a pre-prefix on it, then you look for a word with a post-prefix on it if the test is asking you to find the opposite. Another thing would be Pro and D. So pro means for, as in pro-life. Uh, someone who is pro-life is for life. Um, uh, DE is the negation. So deconstruction, to deconstruct, is the opposite of, uh, or the negation of construction. Construction to build up, deconstruct to destroy. So pro uh, meaning for, D is uh, usually a negation, pre before, uh, post after. Knowing your prefixes can be critical um, especially if you're not sure of the whole word. You can say, well, let me break this word up into its prefix, its root, and its suffix and see if I can't uh, decode just from that minimal information the proper answer on the other side. Now, obviously, when you're taking a test, if you know the right answer, you always go with the right answer. But if you're struggling, if you're not sure, this is a strategy you can use. You can look at the word, break it down, and say, hmm, here's the prefix, and I know it means this, and I'm being asked to find the opposite what's the opposite of this prefix, then I've got my answer more than likely. Caution though, caution. Con and pro are opposites, but congress is not the opposite of progress. Although some people might disagree. Uh, that's more of a joke in terms of congress being the opposite of progress, but uh, Con and pro are opposites, but you have to know and be careful sometimes. Anyway, that's been just a basic introduction and uh, overview of the importance of prefixes as a test-taking strategy of knowing what they mean uh, to help you determine the meaning of a word and also to assist you if you're being asked to look for the opposite. If you know what the prefix means and you know what the opposite of that prefix is, it makes it a snap to find the right answer. If you need a study guide, click the book at the bottom of the page. If you want more free test videos, subscribe to us on YouTube. If you just want to keep watching, click the next video.